Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now in this video we are going to be continuing our Interpenetration of Solids series. Today we are going to be doing uh, Interpenetration for two hexagonal based prisms that are combined. So we are going to be doing drawing number two, which is this drawing right here. All right, so we have one hexagonal based prism and then the next one that goes inside that one. So this is the drawing that we're going to be doing today. And like with all our other drawings, we're going to be starting with the plan view. Now, right here, this distance is 64 across the flats. So the flats is from here to there. All right, so with that information, we can draw this. We can draw this hexagon. All right, so let's go to AutoCAD. So now, if you're going to be drawing a polygon, you just type polygon. Number of sides is six, so press enter. It says specify center. So just choose a place to start. Let's start here. Do we want it inscribed or circumscribed? We want it to be circumscribed about the circle. And this is why. The distance that we're given is the distance across the flats, the distance from here to here. So if there was a circle, inside this um hexagon this would be the center of the circle this would be a circumference here so this would be the radius of the circle and this entire distance would be the diameter so that means that this hexagon then would fit perfectly outside that circle all right so this has to be circumscribed about circle all right so we're going to select circumscribed about circle now let me turn on ortho it's already on all right so now the diameter for that circle would be 64 so that means that the radius which is half of that would be 32 so type 32 enter all right and there we have our hexagon so we can measure go to utilities over here measure distance and we can measure to see if it is 64 and it is and it is 64 so that's good all right so once you've done that before we do the the other part of the before the other part of the plan view we can do the we have to do the elevation first and get this distance before we can start on the rest of the plan all right we have to get this um line first all right so let's start with the plan view so it says that this center right here is 60 and this entire distance is 120 all right so let's come here we're going to draw up a series of lines um no specific distance, just what any distance that you think is greater than, than 120. Alright, good. So now, we're going to start the, the, the plan view about 20 millimeters above the elevation. Alright. So to do that, you can just click on a line, just click on a line and come here. And you don't click here, just bring your, your mouse here, find the cursor right there in that um, green rectangle um, square. And then slightly move your cursor up and just type 20 without clicking anything as yet. So just type 20, enter. And then now you get this line here. All right. So now I'm going to bring this line across to here. Then I'm going to click on the line and I'm going to extend it out to this point right there all right so now i'm going to bring this up by 60 twice and this is why we're going to do it by 60 twice because the center is 60 and up here is also 60 as well all right so we're going to extend this by 60 and then 60 again all right so let me click on this and i'm going to click on offset or you can type offset and it says specify offset distance so we're going to do 60 so I'm going to bring that up to there, then I'm going to click on it again, and I'm going to offset it again up there. Alright, so now we can trim off the things that we don't need up here. So let me trim that. So TR, enter, enter, and just trim that. Alright, good. Alright, so now let me draw the center line because we're going to need the center line. So this triangle right here represents the midpoint. If you're not seeing it, just click on the drop down arrow beside object snap and turn on midpoint so now if i select a line 
I can bring this up to that point right there. Good. All right. So now we know that this is the center line. And then right here, it says that this distance from the center, from the center here to this point is 90. So let's draw that. All right. So if that's 90, that means that this line, this center line here, should be 90. So I'm, I'm just going to extend this. Uh, instead of extending that, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to click on this line and I'm going to offset it. So I'm going to offset this by 90 and bring it all to that point. Then I can extend this to meet it right there. Good. All right. Now it says that the distance, all right, it says that the distance from distance across the flats for the small hexagon this is 45 so if this is 45 and this is the center that means this is 22 and a half and this is 22 and a half and this would give us 45 all right so we're going to do some offsetting again so this center line we're going to offset this line now by 22 and a half and we will get um our lines so to up, since we're using a decimal our units have to be set to 0.0 all right so right here if you have units at zero change them to 0.0 .0. all right so i'm going to click on that line and i'm going to select offset and i'm going to go 22.5 enter so now i can bring that up there and then click on this and bring that down so offset 22 and a half up 22 and a half down and now we got this all right so good all right so with that now i'm going to trim this i'm going to trim that part but i'm not going to trim, trim down here as yet before i trim that down let me just extend this a little bit and we're going to see why we extended that i know i can trim this all right so this is why we extended this i'm going to draw a 45 degree line from here and you're going to um, understand why I do I draw the 45 degree. So I'm going to turn on polar tracking, and I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and click and set that at 45. Mine is already set at 45. So now I'm going to click here and draw this line down 45 degree. This green line will tell me that this is 45. Uh, this is no specific this measurement. You just want it to be um, to pass like this point. So anywhere past that. All right. So about there. All right. Good. So now I'm going to bring across a line from this point to meet the 45 and where it meets the 45, sorry, let me turn on back Arthur. All right, good. So I'm going to bring a line, draw a line from here, bring it across to this point. All right. And then where it meets the 45, I'm going to bring this line up from here. I'm going to bring it up. You, you just want to ensure that it passes um, this center line right here. So I'm going to bring it up to there. All right. And then I'm going to draw a line from here to meet that point right there. All right. So now we have this point here. And the reason why we need this point is because that is going to be the center for our hexagon. So as you can see, we have an hexagon right here, which is 45. The distance across the flats is 45. So now we can draw that hexagon. So just like we did for the first hexagon, we're going to type polygon and the number of sides, six, specify center, the center is here. Circumscribe about circle, just like the other one, since we're given the distance across the flats. All right. So circumscribe and the center is right here. All right. And now the radius for this would be 22.5. So 22.5, enter. All right. Good. So now we have our hexagon. All right. So with that we can trim out some of the lines that we don't need. So now we can trim can trim this right here. We can trim that. We can trim this. We can trim we can delete this. And we can trim this. Alright, good. Alright, so now we are going to bring down these lines to meet the 45. So like this. Let me turn on intersection and the parent intersection. All right, good. 
so now let me just bring down this line these lines like this all these lines just bring them past the 45 like that and then now i'm going to where they meet the 45 i'm going to bring them across to meet this hexagon right here let me see all right so i'm going to bring them across like that bring these across bring this across bring this across as well all right so now we can trim some things that we don't need so let me just trim off these right here and trim these all right nice all right so with that now where these points meet this hexagon we are going to need to bring those points up so let me just use a different color so that we don't get confused let me use blue let me see blue is good all right blue is okay all right so let me bring this up to this point here and let me also bring this up so the reason why we don't have to bring this up is because this and that is the same point and this would meet that at the same point so we can just bring up one the ones at the top all right so i'm going to bring this up so here all right good so now once we do that all right we can look at our drawing and we see how the points are so we're these two lines right here the first line where, wherever it meets this line going across that's our first point so our first points would be here this point here and then the point of intersection there and then back to there so i'm just going to select a line and turn off ortho and i'm going to let me change the color of this line let me use the yellow all right so this line go from here to there and then back to there all right so the point of intersection would be right there all right so right there so we have that all right so now that we have all of that let me just brighten the drawing all right so let me brighten the drawing so let me do this um in brightening what i'm actually doing is just i'm just making these lines yellow so i can just click on all the lines that are that would be actual solid lines and i'm going to make all of these uh, lines yellow let me just um trim up some things first so since we're done with these lines here i can trim up all these lines here all right good all right all right we can trim this line here all right so now i'm done with the 45 and i can i have to bring down this line right here to the let me turn on Arto, bring down that line to that point and then i can do some trimming all right so there all right so now we need to trim out this part right here as well so let me trim this and trim that all right good all right nice so we also need to delete these two white lines here let me delete that and trim this line in the center so let me trim this and it would stop here so good so there would have it all right so now everything here i can just make all of this yellow So let me just change that from white to yellow good and then I'm gonna select a line here from here to there and draw that to there And then let me 
change this to yellow as well. Alright, good. Alright. Alright, good. So now everything that we that is bright in this yellow. And that is how you do the interpenetration for two um for two hexagonal based prisms where one um actually goes inside the other. Alright. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I hope you learned something. Remember to like, share, comment and subscribe. Once again, thanks for watching.